Okay, hello. So last video for today, for now, anyways. Uh, this is my Burger Builder app. Now for this app, I built it through a course that I took on Udemy, um, a React 16 course which utilized, uh, basically covers the best practices for React, React Router, and Redux, uh, including asynchronous functions. Uh, similar to what I've done with all the other apps I've shown you, but um, this one, what, why I want to go over it, is uh, because it does do some things differently. Um, it does use CSS modules uh, and it has a, a different file structure, folder structure that uh, that I don't use in the other apps quite so much. It's this one, this is a little weird, but anyways, I want to show that I have quite a lot of experience with uh, different ways of building React applications and, um, and it's just kind of cool. It's a cool app. And also, if you're a web developer and you're learning pretty much anything, uh, the instructor I took uh, that, uh, for the course is Maxim Maximilian Schwarzmuller, a really cool German guy. I think he's German, anyways. And um, he's on YouTube and he's on Udemy. So if you just want to try out his free stuff, check out YouTube. He also has a website that has some free stuff. Uh, but I highly recommend his Udemy courses. They're really good. and really well thought out and uh, at a really good pace so even if you do know your stuff it's still not too slow all right so um yeah this is react route react react router and redux it's the burger builder so uh, if you wanted to build a burger you could come to this website and you can choose from four different ingredients and if i wanted to i could add more um, but let's just look at the, what we have now uh, base price four dollars for just the buns the really nice buns um, don't ask what they are. It's a secret. You can add some salad to it. I know salad. It's um, just <laughs> lettuce. <laughs> he called it salad, so I just kept it salad. Uh, bacon, if you like bacon. And uh, so you can add as much as you like, really. So if you really like bacon. Um, I don't really like bacon on my burgers, so I'll just keep it off. And you can add cheese. I like cheese, so um, do two cheese. Do two meat as well and yeah so we've got in my opinion a great burger maybe the perfect burger but the downside is it's really expensive I think that something happened with the bacon and it didn't decrease the price let me uh, let me refresh so we can see what the real price is there we go it's <laughs> it's eight dollars that's not bad that was weird okay so um, it it requires you to log in, right? It's just like any other online ordering app. You would have to log in to complete your order. So to finish, you would uh, log in. So let's just say test at test dot com and test at test. Oh, make sure we sign in. Um, I'm not a real big fan of the way this is done because it's not really easy to notice. But if you're signing in, you have to click to make sure you're in the sign in mode. My other apps, I've solved it basically. Anyways, um, once you log in or create a, an account, you can review it here. If it looks good, enter your information here. So Terrence, um, we're in Chicago Street-ish, right? Uh, there, country, USA. Email, test.test.com. There we go. Yeah, it does. No. Okay, well, whatever. I have to fix the authentication here. And then anyways, you can set your order. So once you click order, it actually does post to the database and it shows your order in your user account. And so you can review it. I've made two orders here. Um, this is the latest one. And then, yeah, and then assuming it was real, it, the burger would be on, my, on, the, on its way. Um, it's a pretty decent little app as far as it goes um, it, user wise. Uh, it, it knows when you're logged in, it knows when you're not logged in, and if you log in after you've built the burger, it does save that information so that after you've authenticated, um, you don't have to go through and build the burger again. It's, it's saved for you to, once you're finished to log in, it'll proceed to the next step as if you were. Anyways, that's, um, that's the app right there. Oops, that's not what I wanted to show you. This is the, uh, if you look here on the uh, directory side, this is 
sort of the, the way that we built this app with components in their own folders, not unlike the other apps I have built, but we also have the um, CSS files right here alongside it. So it's using CSS modules, so importing the individual CSS files that it requires. That way the, uh, the structure is just completely uh, reusable. Because if you you'd imagine if you had one big CSS file for all this stuff, uh, it would just it would be like all my other ones where I haven't done CSS modules, and it's it you'd have to know what you're looking for, uh, basically. But this keeps it a lot uh, simpler. Just to go through, it's like oh okay, if I wanted to change the width of my authentication um, screen right here, I just go in the same folder as the auth component. Uh, and let's see, and also the reusable components as well. So here in the UI we have backdrop, which is used in uh, I think two components, buttons, which are used in several components, the inputs as well, modals and spinners, all here in the UI um, directory, so it's easy to find and reusable in any folder or any component. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for this app, really. There's not much else to go on. Uh, it was just really fun to work with. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about this one, uh, let me know.